We are told tonight the rotten stench in Carson is still lingering in the air weeks later. It's night. County officials held a town hall meeting with residents to talk about it amid discuss some possible new sources as well for the odor. Kick on Stacy Butler, Stacy Butler rather has the story. It's like rotten eggs. What is that smell? At first I thought I had gas leak. Weeks after the Carson stench started and is now spreading south, LA County officials said on a Zoom meeting tonight it's getting better. But Carson homeowners and employees disagree. The later it gets, the worse the smells get. The smell went in Burlington and it would, the whole store would smell. Estelle Webb says she and her granddaughter have been nauseous with headaches every day since the smell started last month. Authorities say hydrogen sulfide is causing the smell and is not emitting at dangerous levels. But they're stumped as to why the stink won't go away. Enough talk. Do something. You know, we could talk all day, but where is the solution? In a town hall meeting via Zoom, water and air quality authorities for the first time said they're looking into the possibility chemicals from local refineries, chemical plants and other facilities may be partially to blame after the 4.3 magnitude earthquake near Carson last month that may have disrupted lines. So far, the city has relocated over 1,300 residents like Maya Sneed to hotel rooms. We've been gone nine days at a hotel. We return back to the same old smell. The town hall meeting didn't give this Carson mom any solace from the smell. And at first they told us it was not toxic. Now they're telling us that it'll make us sick. So we're really scared. We don't know what to do at this point in time. And if anyone could help us, like the city, the mayor, the government, we would like that because this is not okay. We own our homes here and we need some type of justice. A lot of homeowners say they've spent hundreds of dollars on air purifiers and running their ACs 24 7. County officials said that they can get reimbursed by calling 211. In Carson, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.